Even though it was a five o'clock start this morning, we've been very fortunate to see this iconic species and actually hear their bubbling and strutting and sometimes even comical this place. So I think it was really worthwhile. The black grass are actually a species that has been threatened by habitat loss. And over the last 20 years, there's been a massive decline in species. So there's about 5,000 that are remaining and the majority of those are in Scotland. Glenfinglas Estate is owned by the Woodland Trust and it encompasses approximately 5,000 hectares and has got a whole range of habitats and different altitudes as well. So we start at the lock site and then up through the grasslands into the woodlands and then kind of the open hillside. Over the last 25 years, so we've created about 1,500 hectares of new native woodland. Some of that through planting, some of it is through natural regeneration. This created plenty of woodland edge habitat, which is perfect for black grass to shelter and for food. Over the last 10 years, we've been monitoring the same three lag sites. The lag site is a place where the male cock display and compete. When it comes across another male on a lag site, it almost looks like it blows itself up a little bit. And if you're very lucky, you sometimes see the female, which is called a grey hen. We're very fortunate to be part of the Central Scotland Black Grass study group or monitoring feeds into their data so that the important habitats can be protected. In 2018, the Great Rossex Forest National Nature Reserve recorded 86 lacking males and that was across 15 sites and that on its own actually represents almost 50% of the total black grass population in Central Scotland. So we're very fortunate here at the Glenfinglas and within the Great Trossic National Nature Reserve to have a stable population of black grass and that is a testament to our management and habitat health. <laughs>